Hello guys, Igor here doing one more Epsumo review. Today analyzing Utobo, that it's a platform that allows you to create course, conduct live classes, and start selling them online through an auto-generated e-commerce site. It claims to be an alternative to Kajabi and Titabo. And the main difference here is that Utobo wants to be a really easy to use platform in a way that you can just plug and go. You start to deal with Utobo and you have your course ready because it's pretty simple to use and to perform your educational design with Utobo. The difference between tiers, all of them get the same plan, the premium plan, but they will have different course creators that are your professors, teachers, learners, your students, and the number of Zoom integrations and storage. You're going to use storage for PDFs, audios, and video. Of course, if you get tier three, you're going to get much more of storage, learners, and course. For instance, 500 cores. But tier two is also good because you're going to get 100 cores, more than 25,000 learners, and two terabytes, it's a lot. And also you can use your YouTube or and Vimeo integration. So you don't need to use your storage for all your videos. So let's check out how the tool works. I'm here on my dashboard and let's start on settings. You can see here that you can change the time zone, dashboard view and your website team, dark or light. Here is where I'm going to change your profile information and your institute details. So you can change your logo, banner, icon, um, change the online school name, and also add all the relevant information for your institute. You can, of course, add your custom domain. It's a, you're going to you use it here, add it here. It's pretty simple. Only follow the steps. As a payment gateway, by now you can select and use Stripe. And for a live class, you can use BlueJeans or Zoom. They have integration with both tools. They also have, by now, as third party integrations appear. So you can use Appear to connect Utobo to other tools. You can also select your sender ID. So add from your name and from your email. So you can customize your sender domain. Let's start taking a look at the creator. Here is where you're going to add your teachers, your professors. So just select their basic information and you are done. Here is where you can create the course or modules. Modules are your course, course steps and course is the full full bundle, the whole thing. You can add modules paid and the course free. So for instance, you can add the course free and five modules with three modules free and two paid. So that's a way to monetize your content, offering a lot of free options to your students. Let's check out how you create the course. So here's the course bundle or to create only a module. For the sake of that review, you're going to create a course. So you just add your bundle title, your course description and select if you're going to create a paid course or a free course. You can also change your core or your cover. And here is where you're going to create your module. So you just cl click here to add your module and then write the name, the descriptions and select the creator. You can also select, as I said, the module to be paid or free. And it's done. And you only need to click, click here to add your content. So let's let's say you want to add a PDF. You click here to add the title. You can select if it, that module will be free or paid. And it's done. The kind of contents that you can add, you can add more than one content per module or only one. And you can add videos. With videos, you can select YouTube, Vimeo or your computer. Let's say I want to add a video. So I just add the link of my video here in case on YouTube and my video title, if it's free or paid and it's done. So you can select everything to have modules, paid modules and free modules under one course. 
and it's done. You only need to close, okay? And you can click here to preview your course. Here is where you can see as a preview your online school and the course you have created. Clicking here, you're gonna view your course and the modules you already created. So let's log in as a student to see our modules. As you can see here, module number one, two, and three. On the number one, I have a video. Just click here and it's gonna play. Then you go to module number two. I have a video and a PDF. So clicking here, it's gonna play. Uh, are the universities are absolute. And here the PDF, it will open the PDF. It's pretty easy to create the course and I think the user interface is pretty cool. So your student will have a neat educational experience. I'm considering to buy it for myself. I am addicted to those LMS tools and I like how this one is being designed. And here the module three that I also add a PDF and a video. You can add all audios and also PowerPoints. Again, clicking here, they're gonna play the video, okay? So that is YouTube. Let's check out the other features on your school. Here it's where you can check your live class. You can have a recurring live class or a one-time live class and you can sell it your live class. So you select your live meeting tool, if Zoom or BlueJing, the creator, the duration and everything. And then you can select if it's paid or free. So like cr creating a course. As marketing tools, you have a coupon, you can create a coupon to give discount to your students and also send email campaigns inside YouTube. So just come here, create your campaign name, your subject line and your sender. We need to add a sender for that second. So here we're sweater going to add your sender ID and then you need to verify the sender checking your email. They're going to send an email to you. And you just click on the email and you verify your sender. As you can see here, they're going to send you an email and you click here and you will verify your sender. And the sender is verified. So going back here, you're going to create your email campaign, your subject line and select your sender. Then you're going to design, select your, recip your recipients and send your email. Here is where you can add your learners. Of course, you can use this appear for that. You select your branch, that is a school, the kind of, of type of education you are creating. Let's let's say your your brain has it's it's aimed to bachelor's degree. The profile picture of your student, first name, second name, email, and click save, and you're gonna have your first student. Remembering that you can also use Zapier to do that, and also you, your learners can subscribe using your e-commerce website on YouTube. And you also have an analytics features of admissions and transactions inside YouTube. So that is the YouTube review. If I recommend the tool, for sure, I think the user interface is one of the most important things on an online course and it's pretty clean, pretty neat. So I think it's worth the license tier two at least. Thank you so much. If you like that review, please click on the link below to help me to keep going. Bye bye.